Hey guys, on this episode, I'm going to show you how I paint all of my custom cornhole boards. Um, if you've seen my video um, that I previously did about how to build them all, um, you can check that out. If not, go ahead and click here and click on the link and you can see how exactly I build my boards um, and all the special things that I can do. Um, but for cornhole boards, there's so many different styles and ways that you can paint them. So here's a few different styles that are there. Um, again, there's so many different options you can choose from. But I kind of have a go-to style. I really like the natural wood look. So I usually do a border, kind of like these ones here. And so you can see I have the border, I have the logo, and I have that. So basically I'm going to show you how I paint them, how I get nice clean, clean lines, um, and what I do from there. Alright, so when I tape up all my lines for the border and for the circles, I always use frog tape. It just seems to work the best. Normally it's green, but I got a five pack that was blue, so that's why it's blue. Um, but frog tape seems to get the best lines um, and just works the best. So I cut out the border and the circle at two and a half inches. I have a little template that I use. And then when I use my X-Acto knife, I try to only pick up the blade like twice. As I go all the way around, it just makes a nice cleaner circle and not as jagged little edges that paint will get into. So my next step is to create a giant stencil for me to use. So I have a large vinyl machine and I will cut out basically giant stickers to use as the stencil. So I'm gonna do each color individually um, and then I'll show you kind of how I put it together. These boards are going to a fundraiser here in Arizona. So they wanted the Arizona State Sun Devils logo. So you'll see I'll have Sparky on one and the Pitchfork on the other. Alright, so I peel off the inside of Sparky and the Pitchfork, and then on the other ones that are going to be all the different colors, I peel off the outside, so it's only left with the inside. So the first color that I'm going to do, I always usually use the lighter color. So I'm going to use yellow first, which you'll see here in a second. Um, I do that first because if I have to do yellow over burgundy, it's going to take me like five to seven coats, where if it's burgundy over yellow, and on this video I only have to do two coats. So you definitely want to do the lighter colors first. Um, so I do the border, the circle, and the logos. Um, while that's drying, I add some of the other stickers and decals. And then you'll see I did a second coat of yellow, which this paint was good enough that I only had to do two coats of yellow. Um, and then I cover up the parts um, with the stickers. And I do a thin, light coat of yellow on top of what I just covered up. What that does is seals the edges of my vinyl decal and it prevents it from bleeding. And so when I peel it off, I get much neater, cleaner lines um, because I do this. So it takes a little bit more time to do, but it's going to save you an hour or more of just touch ups of it when paint bleeds. So definitely do that. You can see I did the white on the eyes, painted that over again, and then I'm going to do all of this um, again. So I paint the dark colors on the sides and the legs. And it took me two coats of burgundy, and I was ready to peel it off. So here's a close-up of the boards directly after the tape and the vinyl was taken off. So there was no touch-ups done at this point. So you can see that they're almost perfect, almost ready to go. Um, so I do a few touch-ups here. Um, and the only thing I have to do left on the boards is put the protective finish. It's not part of the video, but I like to use a spar outdoor polyurethane. So a bunch of coats of that on the sides, the legs, and the tops. And get them all ready and get your finished product here um, out at the golf course for the event it's actually asu's home course out here in Tempe, arizona um, and i think they turned out great and you can see how you get to the wood grain in the middle part and that's kind of the style that i always use so hope you enjoyed 
Um, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, check out some of the other videos that I've created. Thank you.